are gonna have some fun! Hey guys! Yeah. What do you think? Awesome! Awesome! Oh, yeah. This is my bed! This is my bed! Yeah, just... Up there is my cover's bed! Yep. It's just in my seat, please. I don't think that's going to be your seat, Lucy. I've got all the essentials. Landon needs to get a little bit of drone footage, which means I had to drive this big rig. Hold on tight, everyone. I've never driven anything so big in my life. <laughs> All right. Oh, this ain't bad. Well, this is kind of fun, actually. I don't know if I would want to drive it for five hours. Within two minutes, and they've already congregated to each other. Your kids are the cutest. Are you kidding me? I've got my little sister Ellie in here touring our RV. It's huge. It's amazing. It is huge, isn't it? Cordy, yes. Cordy did a pretty good did representation. Of our setup. No, it looks just like it, doesn't it? That's Mom, what it looks Lucy, like. Emma, you you did, isn't that cute? He's been so bubbly. He came over and walked in our RV and was chatting up a storm. Oh, yeah. He chats. That's for sure. I can't get him to stop sometimes. It has become tradition in our family to go RVing in the summers. This has been really fun for us. For the past three summers, we have rented an RV, which I will never do it any other way. It has been so fun to see the different layouts of different RVs. I never realized how many different setups you can have oh, in an so, RV. It's fun. Oh, Welcome right. to our camper. Or as our kids call it, the camper van. I have a hat. So Porter's up on the top bunk right now. We've got the captain chairs that swivel and the footrest comes out so I can rest my feet if I want to. Big kitchen area. Look at all of this room. There is so much room right here. We're gonna pull this out into a bed tonight. We have a full size refrigerator and then Lucy will sleep here tonight and this can pull out as well. We have two bathrooms. Not that you'd care what a bathroom looks like, but this is the children's slash guest bathroom. Bow -chicka -bow -wow. Pretty What's typical. Up? Pretty typical of an RV. And then the master suite. And, uh, Check this out. Oh, my fave. Privacy. See you kids. We got a king size bed. Julie and I sleep on a queen. So I always feel like you're too far away in a king, but this is like a camper size king. So this so. is truly a vacation. Yeah. <laughs> so then back here is our bathroom, which has the shower right here. Yes. So lots of drawer space. This was really clean when we got it. We're up here at the sand dunes in St. Anthony, Idaho, and the kids come back just Filthy. We went here last year. I will leave a link below to our video last year. They had talked about the sand dunes all year long and they had looked forward to this trip. So we're excited to have some fun. I will also leave a link down in the description below to RV Share. We go through RV Share because it's always been such a slick process oh, and yeah. very smooth. Oh gosh, yeah. No, we just rent from neighbors that are close by. Super convenient. I don't have to store or insure or upkeep this thing. I just go pick it up. I use it. I play with it and I take it back. Vacay. And it's a tr <laughs> it really is. It's like a true vacation and it's just so much. It's so fun. We are going to put you to bed and then we will see you in the morning. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay. Are you going to drive?
out her crafts and her Christmas ornaments. You little three-year-olds are doing such a good job of painting. And then we've got all the big kids over here. Yes. Yeah. Kind of the flight. Where is the flight? I found it, Grandma. Okay. Oh, belly. I'm the So, um, okay. So we accidentally locked the door and we can't get out. Day one, I'm locked in the RV. <gasps> ah! Okay, day two. Yeah. Day two. We're all waiting for it to unlock. And we're super stressed. It's totally locked. It's yes. totally. Yes, it's um, day two and we are stuck in here. Day three. <laughs> we should really need some help, people. Day two. Wow. We found enough guacamole to um, <laughs> let us live for about two days. We really need some help. You guys, it is day 1,305 days since we've been in the RV and the guacamole has lasted that long. <laughs> got a lot of kids. That was a lot of kids. So we are taking turns. We're starting to all go up onto the hill and play. Well, Cody, Emma got on behind Cody and, and put her hand just barely touching him. He says, no, you've got to put your arms around me. <laughs> and you've got to hold, hold on, tight. on tight. They were so cute together on the four-wheeler. That's what it's all about. Come towards me. Hurry. One, two, three. Woo! Ouch! Yeah! Oh! P. O. O. Awesome! Good job, Cooper. There you go. Woo! Give me a thumbs up, bro. Yeah. What you guys doing? Guess what? I found, I found the first beetle. Look, I found this tiny. Oh, you got little sand Uncle beetles, Andy. huh? Uncle Andy, I found the first beetle, and he's so fast. Look how fast he is. Whoa, Whoa. there he goes. You guys should have beetle races. And and plus, I named him Turbo because he's Turbo because he's fast. No, mine is super slow. Are you guys trying to find beetles? Is that what you're digging yeah, for? Yeah, we're making houses. We're making houses. Making we're little houses. Beetles. That's fun. Here is one of our very favorite evenings when the kids just play and the sun sets. Rise and shine and good morning. Grandpa Griff is making breakfast for us. This is the McGriffin, Grandpa Griffith's special. I'm just like trying to get like a nice I should have more practice because I have girls. All right. And I just don't want to like yank your head too hard. Okay, you let me. Oh, geez, Julie. Aside from all the fun that we are having, part of the fun is coming up to this very like meaningful cemetery, Parker Cemetery in Idaho, where I have so many family members buried. This is one of my favorite things to do up here. And years ago, when we would be up here when I was little, my mom and dad would point out there and say, do you see all that brown sand? That's the sand dunes out there. They always pointed the sand dunes out to us, but we never actually went over there until just a few years ago. We were missing out. I know, <laughs> Ellie, we have, literally when Ellie and I would come here, we were just like, what, six and eight years old. Oh yeah. And that was fun to see our little kids here. And it's oh, yeah. fun to hear my mom's stories, my mom visiting with her 
my uncle David is up here with us too. So it's been a lot of fun to hear them reminisce. We were so lame. No, oh, and nothing <laughs> against you not taking us to the sand dunes. What that is. Is it a dog or is it a bunny? A bunny. It's a bunny. It's a deer. No, it's a bunny. Alright, any idea on what we are doing? It's a crazy idea, but I think it's gonna work. I wanna get hit. I don't wanna get hit. It's hot. How long have you been waiting in the sand? A long time. A long time. It is hot, hot up here in the sand. You want to be first in line? Good dancing. Woo! These boys are so cute. They have been out here all morning in the shade of this big tree. Playing a little bit of, is it called baseball or softball? What do you call baseball. it? Baseball. 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 So are you guys playing baseball too, or are you just the cheerleaders? No, I, I was oh, playing baseball. I almost drink this. this. I almost drink this. Okay. Maybe I have sex. Can you spell your name? Uh, That's where your great grandma and grandpa lived. It's up in that house. All summer. That place. house? Yes. That's tiny. Do you think that would be fun? Yeah. yeah. And I would play here with my cousins and we would say, Grandma, we promise we won't get in the water. We just want to sit and put our feet in the water. And we'd sit here with our feet in the water and then pretty soon we'd be in like that. And then pretty soon we'd be laughing and the next thing we knew we were down the creek. Soaking, soaking, soaking wet. wet. And so we would run outside onto the road and we would lay on the road because it was hot. Flowers all back there. And where he's got grass up here with her garden and all of the corn. Is she, she the one who would say, you can play in my house? No, know. that's the one up the road. But don't you run in my garden. You can play, you can run through my house, but don't you run through my garden. <laughs> they had rope up in there and we would swing from this tree and my grandpa would park his pickup right here underneath the tree. And we spent hours inside of that bunkhouse. And my grandma would be right inside of that bunkhouse with the door open just like that. And she would be making soap. And she had... Oh, in there. Mm -hmm. And she would just say, you kids stay out there. I don't want you to get burned. Because she was with, working with light. Mm. Dog. 
Isn't that cool though? I love hearing these stories. And I've heard these stories all my life, but I can't repeat these stories. So we come here year after year and you repeat the same stories and it's like a new story to me. Like, oh yes, 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 I knew that, I knew that. We would play inside of here and we would go up the stairs and there's an attic. And my Uncle Tad, the one that we were at the cemetery. The one that died in World War II. He had a box up there that the grandma and grandpa left up there and it had little army soldiers in it. And we would go up and sneak into that and play with the little army soldiers. Oh, that's mm -hmm. so sweet. Should I walk in there all the way down to Lucy? Okay, oh, how deep is it? Oh, much should I go back? Lucy. Oh, here you go, Lucy. Oh, no. Hey, here you go. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Yeah, it's cold. Good morning. Good morning, you two. Been crafting up there all morning. If you watched our last video, you will see that Landon packed his med kit and he is putting it to use on once again another Holine person. And I think you I think the Holines are the only people we've used this kit on. Um, if you want to know what happened, go check out Bonnie's video. Okay, go sit back, I want to get the door.